just let me just introduce, if anyone don't know who Dulcie Dixon is, listen, now, <laughs> I, um, this is this is crazy, man. If anyone, if if I didn't listen, man, I would just remember looking at my dad's uh, tune uh, back in the day, you know, <laughs> and, yeah, and you used to dial in <laughs> to radio, so we'd have to dial in certain times, and we'd pee so well in the morning, <laughs> and then you go, <laughs> and then dial in to Radio Leicester in the afternoon, you know what I'm saying, and then we dial in to uh, Radio WM in the evening with George Franklin, and Dulcie was like, you know, we would listen to the concert, it's like, yo, gosh, but I can't believe I'm, I'm talking to Dulcie right now, because, like, I'm like, I was like, as a, te- as a teenager, go, go growing up and listening to herself you know representing gospel man you know and it was it's great you know and i see where we are now and i'm making how on earth we got here we, we've, we've some of the great work you've done and uh, and uh, correct me if i'm wrong it's 32 years on radio isn't it? is it 32 years that is great like guys let, let me just put it straight that's to right shall i take you back to how it all began okay go on go on get, yo, give us some give us an illustration yeah, go on, shall go i take you back to how it all began? go for yeah. it so i was a young five-year-old at the time <laughs> and um, I had a friend who worked on a on BBC Radio Leicester doing a magazine program, and she was going to Zimbabwe. Mm. And so she said, um, "Dulcie, we were friends. Would you like to take over?" And I basically said yes. So I took over on a magazine program, just presenting a five-minute slot mm. of thought for the day, mm. and at that time, just one track. And what you need to think about is how can a, a young woman feels so confident to go on the radio within a couple of weeks notice no mm-hmm. training no mm-hmm. nothing mm-hmm. so i did that for um a, a couple of years or so mm-hmm. and then i remember asking the station manager if i could have my own show so he, he thought he, he would humor me and say okay i'll give you 30 minutes just okay. 30 minutes and I, I did the 30 minutes and within a couple of months he gave me an hour and then after two months he gave me a whole two hours so for the longest while, from 1990, in January, um, from four to six on a Sunday afternoon, your dad will remember this, and yeah. so will you then when you wear any shorts, no doubt. Yeah. From four to six every Sunday, yeah. there I was in the spirit of the Dixon, 104.9 FM. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's, and it's, so I carried on doing that for some 21 years. Crazy, man, crazy. Yes, so I did that for some 21 years, and then towards the end, they, they change, you know, with the BBC mm-hmm. and their wisdom, they got rid of all the specialist programs. Mm-hmm. And so therefore, my, my latter days of radio mm-hmm. was doing gospel music mixed with news and features. Okay. Which yeah. was, you could say, um, different, but it was at least another way of keeping gospel mm-hmm. on the airways. But mm-hmm. the, the good, wholesome gospel music program that went um, in the early um, 2011, that's when, that's when, you know, that things changed. But there were good days. I'm looking at you now with your headphones, rocking away to the music. It took you right back, Roger. Listen, I, I, I always say to people when they listen to my Instagram, you're gonna hear my full setup. <laughs> there's no, there's no uh, it, when people just, uh, on my live feeds, man, they can hear me roar, and, and you have to sing along to some of the classics, man. You have to just get in there, man. And when you when you try to follow Tamala, man, you get crashed. You just crash every time. You just you just try to go with that, and you're thinking, why am I trying? It sounds so good with the headphones on, but. <laughs> <laughs> for everyone else it sounds terrible but you know but it's inspired by yourself sis, and and just doing this blog show every week yeah i'm going yo like what you guys had to do like crazy you know week after week after week after week after week and you're thinking you know the sacrifices that you made and you know um it's, it's absolutely crazy so you know i have to say i salute you man because like you know um just do radio and and being engaging in radio, it, it, you know, uh, just feeling comfortable with just saying as it is, is from yourself, man, because you said it as it is, sis. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you'll, t- you'll be straight honest and you'll ask the, the, the real questions and you're like, oh gosh, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not no nan- mandy pandy talking here, yeah? But let's get to it, yeah? There's a couple of areas I want to wanna, wanna touch base with yourself now, yeah? Now, um, and we want to have, we'll, we'll touch base about CBT as we as we go in this journey, yeah. But 